Fifteen years ago, there was a war. Well, wars broken out here plenty of times before. They've tried to invade the Southlands through the Northern Valley time and time again. Luck was never on their side though, and their victories didn't last long. They didn't realize that times had changed. Facing one defeat after another, losing territory and watching their nation dwindle, they built up their industrial strength to unprecedented heights and used it to wage one final battle against the world. That was 15 years ago. They fought ferociously, but were utterly defeated. The Belkins then committed the unthinkable. They used nuclear weapons on their own soil. Seeing this tragedy unfold before their own eyes, the victorious countries vowed to throw down their weapons. The world was once again at peace. And thanks to them, it seemed it would last forever. On a distant island, far away from civilization, the protectors of the peace take to the skies. Sorry about this. The captain's apology to me seemed misplaced. One instructor had survived the fight but crashed on landing. The other one was killed in action high up in the clouds. It wasn't his fault that the unidentified aircraft fired on us without warning. Nor was it his fault that the low altitude area where he sent his trainees was directly in front of the enemy. Eight people died because the command room had misplaced some zeros. That pilot in the number seven was amazing. Did you see her fight back? I couldn't bear to watch. Nagase, you keep flying like that and you'll die real soon. I won't die, sir. The only surviving trainee's voice was almost a whisper. Are you sure? You look like you couldn't hurt a fly. Her face was pale, but she still managed to smile a bit for the camera. The photo, along with my camera, was confiscated by base security. It was as if our little undeclared war never happened. I came to cover this remote island because I heard that a very unique squadron leader was stationed here. I didn't realize he was this unique, though. This bad-mouthed, good-natured old firebrand could take the greenest of rookies and forge him into a fearsome fighter pilot. Of course, that possibility vanished with today's encounter. 
The only crew he had left now were Second Lieutenant Nagase and the few pilots that happened to be on the ground that day. I know you don't like this, but we're short on people. Starting tomorrow, all you Nuggets are gonna be sitting alert. If we launch, stay glued to me up there. Nagase? Sir? You're flying number two on my wing. Gotta keep an eye on you or who knows what you'll get yourself into.